the Lord some praise. Oh, we can do better than that. Give the Lord some praise on this last Sunday morning. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord this morning. You woke me up in my right mind and gave me light up and strength. You ought to give the Lord some praise. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to be worthy. Worthy to be praised. He is indeed the head of all of our lives. To the Reverend Linda Sumter, verified minister on our ministerial staff, we give the Lord praise for her. Amen. amen. And to the Reverend Ella Weeks Hart, amen. Another fine minister on our ministerial staff, we give the Lord praise for her as well. Amen. And last but not least, to the Queen of my Olive, amen. The prettiest first lady in all. Methodism. Sister Michelle, you bet some lift the Lord praise all over the house of God. Amen. Amen. So right now, my brothers and sisters, it is now time for us to enter into worship. So now let us enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord he is good and his mercy is everlasting. And his truth endures to all generations. Praise God from whom all blessings flow.
Let us pray. Emmanuel, God with us, we have come to worship you. Free our minds, O oh Lord, that we might think only about worshiping you. Free our hands, O oh Lord, that we will clap our hands and give you praise. Free our legs and our feet, O oh God, that we might be able to move by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit. For Emmanuel, we come to worship you. For you're worthy of all the praise. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful worship experience, oh God, that you've allowed us to assemble together, Lord, just to praise your holy and righteous name. Oh God, we are aware that when we praise you, oh Lord, you inhabit our praise, O oh Lord. And we know that miracles will begin to happen. Someone that came here this morning, O oh God, standing in need of something right now, God. We know that a miracle is on the way right now in the name of Jesus. Healing has already come right now in the name of Jesus. Deliverance has already come right now in the name of Jesus. Love, sweet love has come and fallen fresh in the name of of Jesus. Lord, Holy Spirit, have your way in this experience. Lord, you're welcome into this worship experience. Oh God, right now, Lord, we pray, Lord, that if it is, there's anything that is distracting us, oh Lord, that keeps us from focusing on your word, that keeps us on focus, keeps us from focusing on your prayer, remove it right now in the name of Jesus. Cast out anything, oh Lord, that keeps us from praising you. Cast out anything, Lord that keeps us from giving you all the praise. Yes. Because we know that the devil is already, always busy. But God, you're always on overtime, oh Lord. Working on our behalf. So we pray right now, God, that you would have your way in this worship experience. For us, in the name of Jesus the Christ, we pray and the blessed people of God said, Amen, 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 amen. and Amen. Let's give the Lord some more praise on this last Sunday morning. Amen. From the core response of the choir, amen. chapter 3, verses 14 through 20, read by the Reverend Eloise Hart, the New Testament scripture, Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7, 
read by our Reverend Linda Sumter, and I shall return with further instructions. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Say my
Old Testament reading today will be coming from Zephaniah, the third chapter, beginning at the 14th verse. I greet you in the mighty matchless name of Jesus Christ, Amen. our Savior and Redeemer. And it begins at the 14th verse. Zephaniah 3, 14, down to the 21st. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, mm -hmm. O daughter of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. The Lord has taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thine enemy. The King of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil anymore. Mm -hmm. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thy hand be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. Mm. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly, who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was a burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth, and gather her that was driven out. And I will get them praise and fame in every land, land where they have been put to shame. At that time will I bring you again, even in the time that I gathered you. For I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth. When I turn back your captivity before your eyes, saith the Lord. Thank God for Zephaniah, the third chapter, the 14th through the 20th verses. The word of God for God's people. Good morning. I will be reading for your hearing the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 4, 4 through 7 verses. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Mm -hmm. Be careful for nothing, mm -hmm. but in everything by prayer and supplication, yes. with thanksgiving, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, mm -hmm. shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. The word of God for his blessed people. Amen. Philippians 4, 4 through 7. Amen. Thank God. From all that dwells below the skies, let the creator's praise arise. Turn around and look at another neighbor and just smile at him. Amen. 
Amen. Show all of your prayer rights. Amen. Give the Lord some praise. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll have the reading of our announcements and the acknowledgement of our guests by Sister Chastity Harley. And I will return with observations. First, give honor to the Spirit of Christ, to our pastor, Reverend Simpson, to our first lady, Sister Simpson, to Reverend Sumter, Reverend Hart, all officers, members, and friends. Do we have any sick or shut-in members to report at this time? Amen. Please um, be mindful that Sister Lily Green is asking that if all children who would like to participate in our Christmas program, please see her after service. Our Christmas program will be held on December 19th, next Sunday morning, along with our secret Santa exchange. So please bring your gifts if you're planning on participating. Also, Union AME Church, they will be hosting a Christmas store along with Brown Chapel AME, Rock Hill, Chapel Hill Baptist, Granger Baptist, and the Orangeville Order of Eastern Stars. So what they're doing is you can come in and shop at the Christmas store at Union AME Church. The youth can come in and shop for their parents and their gardens for free. And everyone who participates, they will be provided a hot meal. Also, you know we're in the month of December church, and so I know it wasn't announced last Sunday, but what do we do for our pastor in December? Oh, no, I need a little bit more to do there. Oh, okay. And oh, no. yeah, thank you, Reverend Hart. Hey, so, <laughs> so next Sunday, please be mindful we'll be pounding our pastor and our first lady. I know he has a cash app. We'll get that out to you as well. But please bring your gifts so we can pound them and show them some love. Amen? Amen. 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 I know how much I'll do. Amen. 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 Also, at this time, do we have any visitors? If we have any visitors, we ask you to please stand and give us your name and tell us where you're visiting from. No visitors. Let's thank all of our members for coming out. And we do have board meetings. So we have our first in-person board meeting, amen? amen, on Tuesday at 6 p.m. So we're asking everyone to please come out to our board meeting. And also, I have a personal announcement. One of our youth who grew up in the church, my daughter is graduating from the University of South Carolina on tomorrow. Amen. 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 We all seen her from beginning until now, so she's graduating from college. She's still... Say a prayer for her, and that's the only person who get her grandmother to take off from work. Amen? Amen. 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 What a wonderful surprise to hear that we have children that are graduating in December. Let's give the Lord some more praise on that. Amen. Amen. Sister Martha Stook, she gave us an, an, an invite, which from yesterday, I believe her granddaughter graduated from North Carolina State. Amen. I forgot to bring that announcement, but it's her, her granddaughter graduated on yesterday. Amen. Let's give the Lord some praise. Amen. Also on Tuesday, Austin is graduating on Sunday. Ricky Clark's son is graduating. Oh, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. All these children are growing up and getting their college degrees and going on to do great things. Amen. What an exciting time. Amen. To see such growth in the lives of our youth. Amen. So at this time, I'm not going to go into my observations as of yet. Amen. Um, and when I, when I get ready to do my observations, I plan to do our impromptu and trusted election, which will be very brief, and we'll get that out of the way. Amen. But let us worship the Lord through giving. Amen. We want to bless the offering. Amen. And then I will proceed towards the observations that I have on my agenda. Amen. But the Bible says that it is much more blessed to give than it is to receive. The word of God says that if you give, it shall be given back unto you. Pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men literally give unto your bosoms. Amen. So at this time, would you please stand all over the church? Amen. With your offerings in your hand. Amen. And if you're given by way of Giblify, amen, raise your electronic devices, amen. If you want the Lord to bless you during this worship experience by worshiping the Lord through giving, raise your offerings high. Lord, thank you for being so good to us. Lord, if we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't say thank you enough. We ask you, Lord, to look at our offerings, oh God, and be pleased with our giving. 
And in this worship experience, Lord, where we worship by giving back unto you, we ask you to bless this offering that it might be used for the upkeep and the building of your kingdom. For us in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray, and the blessed people of God said, Amen. 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 Come on and give the Lord some more praise. Amen. Amen. Now the pastor gets us to his pastor's observations. Amen. And I try, I'm going to try to be as expeditious as I possibly can. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The protocol has already been thoroughly established. Amen. We all know that we've already scheduled for our trustee election to take place today. So that is the very first thing that I'm going to get off of my plate. Amen. It won't take us but maybe less than three minutes. If you blink your eye, you're going to miss the election. Amen. Next year, we're going to have a secret ballot uh, election where everyone will come. You will get your own ballot and you will pick the person that you want to serve as trustee. But this year, we are going to do uh, do uh, do a trustee election by unanimous ballot. So at this time, I'm going to call one poller and I'm going to call one teller. Amen. So I'm going to call it from my steward pro tem, Brother Donald Harmon, to serve as my teller, to stand right here on this side. And I'm going to call it from my trusty pro tem, amen, Brother uh, Sam Brown, to stand on this side, amen. And we are going to do it in this fashion, and I'm going to slip my mask back on my face, and so I'm going to come down where they are. All right, I hope everyone can hear me behind all this fabric that's covered and covering my salt and pepper beard. Amen. Amen. So this will not take very long. The very first thing that we are going to do, uh, we are not doing a secret ballot election, so we need to do something called the missionary rule. So I need someone to stand and say, I move that, 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 um, I move that the, um, I'm almost, uh, Friend, Rob, well, somebody pray for me. Yep, there we go, say amen. But I move to suspend the rule. That's what I want to say, amen. So I need someone to stand and say I move to suspend the rule. I chastity hardly move to suspend the rule. Can I get someone to step? Second. Then probably move and second. Are we ready for question? Question. Oh, we can do better than that. Are we ready for question? question. All in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Hearing none, and so heard a name back here. Amen. <laughs> All right. Hearing none and so ordered. And the rules are suspended, meaning that we're not going to use the normal traditional mode of election. All right. So at this time, we are getting ready to do the uh, unanimous ballot. Amen. And I am going to hand this ballot over to my teller. You will read the names on that ballot. Amen. And when your name is called, you may stand. Brother Sam Brown Pro Tem. Brother Matthew Henderson. Brother Marvin Wright. Sister Margaret Gator. Brother Ricky Clark. Thank you again today. Brother James Brown Jr. Brother Melvin Brown. Sister Una Jackson. Brother Daniel Oliver. Sister Evelyn Oliver. Sister Lizzie Myers. Wayne. Brother Sam Foger. Brother James Myers. Sister Lily Green. Brother Marion Harmon. I think he's doing good. Brother Al Kitt. Brother Joseph Small. He's out of town. Brother Al Kitt, I mean Al Clark, excuse me. 
and uh, Brother uh, Charles Lamb inherited. All right. And I will take this ballot from our teller and give it to our poll. I want you to count to see that there's 18 trustees plus one emeritus, which makes 19. Yes, correct. Amen. And you notice he looked on the back, which is the correct thing to do. We want to make sure that the ballot, the ballot is legitimate that you don't have names on the back, it should always be on the front. Amen. So now the names have already been submitted to this church conference, amen, and have already been confirmed by the teller and the poller. The only thing left to do is to make a motion that the names that are read on the unanimous ballot be received as trustees for this annual conference year. So I need someone to stand and say, I move that the names that have been read on the unanimous ballot be received as trustees for this annual conference year. I, Chancellor Harley, move that the names, the names read on the ballot be received as trustees for this election year. Someone to second. I, Donald Harmon, second it. Been properly moved and second. Are we ready for questions? Question. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposing, say nay. Here and none, and so ordered, and these young men and women will be trustees this annual conference year. Let's give the Lord some praise. <laughs> Amen. And our trust election has been completed. You may return to your seats. Amen. 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 I told you that I wasn't going to take very right. long. Amen. 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 All right. So we're moving right along with the pastor's observations. Amen. Stewards have already been trained and they've already been confirmed, amen. amen. Trustees have already been trained and now the members have elected them and we are ready to go to work. Are you ready to go to work, Mount Olive Amy Church? Amen. 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 Now, the meeting that was scheduled after church today has been canceled uh, because the contractor, he got caught up with a whole lot of stuff that's going on today. The pastor has a lot of stuff going on today. Um, at 2 p.m., the pastor has to go over to the Santee Convention Center uh, to support the new Santee Presiding Elder District on their uh, district planning meeting. At 5 p.m., our bishop is going to meet with all the pastors of the Central Conference, along with the members who desire to come to hear about the new purchase, amen, of the, uh, of the 7th Episcopal District. And we're looking to purchase White Oak, amen. We're looking to purchase White Oak is a location where we used to take our kids. It has a lot of resources up there, things of that nature. And so originally the plan was to um, actually build a convention center uh, for the Southern Episcopal District. And, but, but COVID saw sort of like hindered that. And so now we're turning around with another alternative and we're looking to buy, buy, white, buy the White Oak Convention Center. Let's give the Lord some praise, amen, amen. So what does that mean for us? Amen. So our bishop is very innovative. Amen. He's looking to find a way to get away from paying all that money to rent the Florence Civic Center for the whole hour convocations. Amen. Did you know that it took $1 million every single time to rent the convention center? Amen. So he is looking for ways to keep money. What? In the 7th Episcopal District. So when we purchase this property, that will be a location that we'll be using as our very own, where we have our own conventions, amen, our convocations, as well as our annual conferences, amen. So let's give the Lord some praise, amen. And plus, the plan is also to create opportunities that we can use our facility to rent out to people so that monies are coming into the 7th Episcopal District. Amen. Doesn't that sound wonderful, amen. church? Amen, amen. It is important to have a vision. When you don't have a vision, guess what? The people will what? Perish. Amen. And we thank the Lord for our bishop's vision. We have a vision here at Mount Olive Amy Church as well, and we're looking to do some serious upgrades and things of that nature. And so the reason I canceled that meeting, we really need to spend some thorough time together. We need to be in person. Otherwise, I would have did it virtually but we need to be in person so that we can get the estimate in our hands. We need to look at the person that may potentially be doing the work in the face. And when we hear things that we're concerned about, we need to be able to look him in the eye and ask questions. So we're getting ready to get rid of these mics and get some mics that, that, that the pastor is not fighting with, praise the Lord. Amen. We're getting ready to put new sound system in. 
We're getting ready to replace all these speakers. Amen. These speakers, I haven't heard them work as of yet, but we're getting Amen. ready to put new speakers in. Amen. Amen. And we're getting ready to put monitors in so that Sister Demaja and Brother Jonathan will not have to use their cell phone to live stream the worship service. Amen. Amen. And so the pastor are also talking to people. You know, it's good to talk to people, right? Amen. And I talked with our brother, brother Jonathan Howell's brother yesterday. He was telling me how over in the other presiding elder district, they tapped into some grant money. Amen. So this pastor is looking to try to find somebody to help us do what? Tap into some grant money. Amen. Amen. So we've got to be wise as a serpent. But harmless as a dove. Amen. So we don't have to spend all our we don't have to spend our own money to get the things that we want. Amen. We just need to know where to find the money and find a way to go get that money. Amen. And so this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. as our church secretary announced, we will be here in person to meet with the contractor to look over at over that estimate. Amen. Let me make you mindful, all right? I'm going to go ahead and let you know right now, don't be shocked with the size of the number that you see. Amen. It takes money to do stuff right. Amen. Amen. I know people right now who have built a brand new church, hung a monitor up, and guess what? The monitor still doesn't work. Amen. And they spent all that money. Now they can't get the person to come back to under service what they put in. My interest is this. I want to make sure that if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right Amen. from the beginning. Amen. And we're not going to be trying to spend money to try to get somebody to come back and fix a problem that we didn't even desire to pay for. Amen. So when we have that meeting, we're going to open with logical, reasonable ears. Amen. We're going to look over that estimate and we're going to make a decision to move forward. Amen. Now we have some weddings. Amen. Come on in 2022. One is going to be in March. Amen. Brother Sam Fogel, won't you please stand? Amen. Won't you please stand? Amen. And I'm going to be looking to be, be, uh, be doing his wedding, amen, in March, amen, along with his queenly future wife, amen. And they're going to have it right here at Mount Olive Avenue Church, amen. Now, with that being said, we want their wedding to what? be perfect, right? And we don't want the pastor to be, we have the mic struggling with the mics, amen, during the wedding ceremony. That is a special day that only happens one time and we will not come back again. So we want to be very what proactive and working and pushing to get the upgrades that we need here in Mount Olive Amen Church. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Also, Secret Santa. I just wanted to just touch on it. It's already been announced. Just want to let you know how this works because there are still four names in the container that had not been pulled. Amen. I believe that there's some 30-something names that are in the container, that if there were 30-something names in there, 30-something names should be pulled. That means 30-something gifts need to be coming back. Amen. Amen. You should not put your name in the container Amen. thinking that you're going to get a gift and not give something Amen. back. Amen. Amen. The rules of it is we want to make sure that every person that put their name in the, in the, in the, in the container have your gift ready to give to someone. You need to pull a name if you did not pull a name last Sunday. If you did not get an opportunity to get your name in the, in the container so that you can participate in the Secret Santa, you may see the First Lady after worship service today so that we can participate in the Secret Santa. Once you get your name, don't you tell who your person is because it's supposed to be what? A surprise. It's supposed to be a secret. Amen. And last but not least, our presiding elders coming to visit us next Sunday. Let's give the Lord some praise. Amen. Now, I was trying to get him to preach when he comes, but he said that he's coming to hear your pastor preach. So here's what we're going to do. Amen. We're going to have our Christmas play next week, and your pastor is going to do a strong seven-minute sermon net. Amen. So we're not going to hold you all day long. We're going to give you some fire. Amen. We're going to exchange gifts. And we're going to go home and get ready for Santa Claus to come the following Saturday. Amen. Amen. Are you ready for next Sunday, my honor? Amen. Let us give the Lord some more praise. Amen. 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 Pray for the mic, y'all. Pray. Pray for the mic. Amen. <laughs> but at this time, we're going to call upon this wonderful choir. Now, choir, now, new generation, I'm going to tell you right now, you have a new choir member in your pastor. Amen. If I can ever get free of all 
these cotton picking meetings that are always holding up my time, I'm going to come and I'm going to sing with you all in your practice. Amen. I just love hanging with my people and having fun. And I almost forgot. Amen. Yesterday, I want to thank the WMS. Boy, you should, you all sure know how to get together and have a good time. Let's get the WMS some praise. Amen. We went over at Sister Jonita's house. Amen. We had food and we had karaoke. Amen. And I met a new friend. Hey, Brother Jody. It is good to see you this morning. Amen. And see, when you meet new people, guess what? Call them by the front of your church. Amen. And we had such a good time with one another. I'm coming to your church in the morning. They will come on. Hang with the pastor. Amen. But we had a good time yesterday over at Sister Jonita's house. Amen. karaoke and eating a whole lot of food. We just had a great time. And I'm looking forward to more of that. Amen. My holiday in church, especially with our men. I'm looking to team up with the sons of Adam. Do you guys like fishing? Amen. I ain't heard nobody say a word. Pastor going to be fishing by himself? Well, praise the Lord. Amen. So I'm looking to do more things like that so that we can hang together in fellowship and just have a good time in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, getting back into the worship service. I hear that there's a hard singing choir, amen, somewhere on the planet. I'm not talking about in the congregation, but on the planet. These are hard hitting, amen. Guess, guess what? Everybody in the world is trying to get them to come and sing, amen. At their church, amen. At their parties, amen. They just turn the house out, amen. And guess what? They belong right here at Mount Olive AME Church. Ladies and gentlemen, the hardest singing choir, amen, on the planet, the New Generation Choir. Let's give them some praise.
Indeed it is a happy day. Amen. Amen. The protocol has already been thoroughly established. And our day is pretty much filled with a lot of events. But the word of God must go forth. Let us now look back into the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verses 4 through 5. And I want to thank my two fine preachers for reading the liturgical readings that mark the season of Advent. We are forever mindful that we are in Advent season. That should be ringing in our ears like bells. Because Advent season is about preparing our hearts to receive Christ therein. Let us pray. Lord, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, let it all be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, you are my strength my rock and my redeemer. The blessed people of God said, Amen. Amen. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 5, for the third Sunday of Advent season, and today's theme is joy. And the reading will come from the Common English Bible for clarity. And it reads this way. Be glad in the Lord always. Again I say, be glad. Verse 5. Let your gentleness show in your treatment of all people. The Lord is near. Let your gentleness show in your treatment of all people. Not some, but all people. For the Lord is near near. Pray with me as I use for a third Sunday Advent season thought. God is closer than you think. God is closer than you think. We are reminded that Advent season is about the coming of Christ. I know our little ones, they are excited about the coming of Santa Claus. But we need to remind them why you're looking for Santa Claus, you ought to also be looking for Jesus. The focus ought to be on the preparation of our hearts to receive the love of God which came in the body of Jesus. What are you doing with your hearts right now, my Olive, during this holiday season? For those of you that are watching on this live stream, what are you doing with your hearts right now during this Advent season? See, God came near to us in the body of Christ to reveal the love he has in his heart for this dying world. God was so concerned about this world that he decided to come in the body of Christ, couldn't bear to look at it any longer in the shape that it is in. Charles Spurgeon, a great orator, once said that Jesus became what we are, that we might become what he is. Isn't that powerful? He left his throne in heaven and took on flesh that can get cold and get sick and experience pain. He came and took on flesh to become what we are, that we might become what he is. Though the Lord our God is an omnipresent God, that means he's everywhere at all times, he still desired to be closer to us. So the Lord, he manifested his presence unto us by taking on flesh and dwelled among humanity just to be close to his creation. Yes. My Olive, you got to be careful how you treat people. Amen. You don't know who the Lord has sent to manifest themselves uh, 
in the flesh, that's my, that might be an angel just to be close to you. So let me ask you a few questions as the Lord is desiring to get closer to me and you. If the Lord were to look in your heart right now, what do you think he would say about what he saw in your heart right now? That's a deep thought. What's in your heart right now? Do you think he would be pleased with the condition of your heart? Is your heart in condition for the Lord to use you for his glory? Would he feel welcome in your hearts if he were to come into your heart right now? You know, I'm, I'm ready to go back to your house, Sister Jonitha, because I felt so welcome when I went there yesterday. You made me feel so warm and welcome, I, like I belong there. But, but if, if the Lord were to come to your house, call your heart. Would he feel welcome entering your house? Now, would he be surprised at what he saw lurking around in your heart? You know, sometimes, you know, it surprises me when we go and visit certain people and we see certain things in their house and you're like, wait a minute. I didn't think that you would have this in your house, but God if Jesus were to come to your house, would he be surprised at what is he lurking around in your heart? Oh, but let me tell you something, church. Uh, see, nothing surprises the Lord when it comes to us. Jesus is not surprised at anything that he sees about us. See, for he knows everything about us. Uh, do I have a praying church this morning? The Lord, he knows everything about us. Uh, he knows the very number of hair on our heads. And uh, he sees everything we do when you think that nobody is watching. He hears everything we say when, 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 when you think nobody heard you talking about Sister Sue. Oh, she thinks she's all that with that pretty hair on her head. Uh, yes, she is. I'm going to say it. Yes, she is. Somebody, uh, y'all don't have to say amen right to, to that point, but I want to say amen to that. Amen. Uh, because I can look and see the blessings of God uh, on other people to let me know that the Lord is near. Uh, but the Lord, He sees all, uh, and He knows all. Uh, he sees you when you don't see Him, uh, He hears you when you don't hear Him. Uh, and then of showing us uh, that in all times and in all places uh, he's always closer than you think. Uh, oh, sometimes we think that the only place God shows up uh, is on church on Sunday morning. Uh, and then the minute we get outside the door of the church, uh, we don't think the Lord goes to the grocery store. Uh, we don't think the Lord will go to your job. Uh, when you talk about your co-workers uh, I know we don't have people like that in my holiday in church uh, But the devil is always trying to be busy uh, But don't you know that the Lord, he's always there uh, He's always close to you uh, And he knows what is going on uh, But can I talk about godly people? Uh, you know, my time is almost done uh, but I want to talk about godly people. Uh, do I have any godly people under the sound of my voice? Uh, I often like to look to my right and look at Mother Brown. Uh, because I see a godly woman sitting there with a red hat on. Uh, and a red dress. There's something about godly people uh, that will catch your attention. Uh, I ain't talking about church folks now. Uh, people who come to church because they think it's a good thing to do. Uh, people who come to church because they think it's the right thing to do. Uh, but I'm talking about people that are of the church uh, that God lives on the inside of them. Uh, but y'all don't hear me, church. Uh, I'm going to talk about godly people. Uh, because that's what the text is telling us here. Uh, that we need to be godly people. Uh, and we need to let our God Right. Blow like a rain. 
in the nature of godly people. Uh, that naturally shows that God is close. Uh, closer than what you think. Uh, Y'all don't hear me this morning. Uh, in fact, you may be the only Jesus. Uh, can I preach to someone that made somebody smile the other day? Uh, you just may be the only Jesus uh, that people will ever see. Spirit is happy in Jesus. 
closer than you think. It's closer than you think. And sister, he sent your way to help you. The Lord came in the body of your sister that came to help you. He's closer than you think. Hallelujah. Stand up over the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's closer than you think. But going back to what Charles Spurgeon said, he took on flesh. He became what we are that we might become what he is. If you don't know this man named Jesus, i got news for you this morning. You don't have to go down the road to find Jesus. He's right near you right now. And if you don't know this man named Jesus, hallelujah, you can call on the name of Jesus right now, right? He will manifest his presence to you right now, right? You can be saved right now. And all you got to do is open up your heart uh, and let Jesus in. So if you don't know this man named Jesus, uh, on the third Sunday of Advent season, I dare you to try him this morning. I dare you to come to him this morning. I dare you to let him in because if you let Jesus in, he will clean your house. Don't you want your house clean this morning? Don't you want your house clean this morning? You might be on this live stream and never confess Christ. Hallelujah. We want you to confess Jesus is Lord. And if you have never confessed that Jesus is Lord, you can do it right now. Don't let this minute pass you by because if you were to drop dead right now, the question then would be, where would you spend eternity? Hallelujah. Will there be one? If you have not confessed Christ as Lord and Savior, if you're on this live stream, the Lord is touching you right now. And if you're on this live stream, the Lord wants to save. The Lord saved you right in your room. You that were in your room sleeping in your bed. You, the Lord saved you this morning. Because you decided that you want to try this Jesus that has been close to you all this time. Will there be one to confess Christ this morning? Amen. Leaving this first petition upon the floor. Amen. Amen. I'm a member of a church. Amen. Let me tell you something. Good God and people. Amen. Come together to worship. We come together to get away from the chaos of the world. Yeah. To come into a place where we can give God all our attention. We got some good God and people right here at Mount Olive Avenue Church. And if you're not a member of any church, we want you to join these godly saints right here at Mount Olive Avenue Church. If you are not a member of any church, Come and join these godly people who will be your brother, who will be your sister, who will be there for you when you stand in need. Is there anybody in the church this morning who is not a member of Mount Olive Naomi Church who loves to be a member of this great church? Amen. Amen. We leave the first two petitions upon the floor. And the last petition is for prayer. We all need prayer. Hallelujah. Even your pastor. I solicit for prayers every single day of my life. Let me tell you something. When you give your life to Christ, you really have to start praying. But the devil is going to really be right with you. Because he is mad as hell with you. Because you decided to let him go to who on to Jesus. He's going to do all he can to try to make your life miserable. And you need to saturate your day with prayer. Because the devil is going to do all he can to make you stumble and fall in some kind of way. Amen. So all over the church, close your eyes. You know, you know what you need from the Lord. Put it on your mind right now. Can't you feel that the Lord is close to you right now? He's right there next to you right now. Before you even thought the thought, the Lord had already known what you needed from him. And he's already working on it on your behalf. So guess what? The only thing left to do is say, thank you. Thank you for healing our bodies, oh God. Thank you. Thank you for fixing our finances, oh Lord. Thank you. Oh God, thank you, Lord, for working out that trouble at work, oh God. Every time I turn around, trouble is going over. Lord, thank you for working out that problem at work. 
That child that just won't do the right thing. Lord, thank you for keeping your hand on my child. Don't have a mind to think to do the right thing. Lord, thank you for keeping your hands on our children. Keeping your hands on our family. Keeping your hands on our loved ones, our friends. Oh, Lord, thank you. But most of all, Lord, we want to thank you, Lord, for sending your only begotten son into this world to take on flesh just so that we can behold your goodness in your son Jesus that we might know what you look like and who you are we thank you Lord for this great worship experience and we thank you Lord for what is yet to come throughout the rest of this year for us in the name of Jesus the Christ we pray and the blessed people of God said amen, amen. come on get the Lord praise all over the house Amen. Now, like good godly people, this is what I want you to do. I want you to show that God is near by turning to your neighbor and says, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Amen. That's what good godly people do. We tell one another we love them. Not only do we tell one another we love them, we show love. Amen. So let's all stand all over the church. I feel the Holy Spirit moving. Amen. And I don't want to interrupt the Holy Spirit. God is doing for something for somebody in here. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. So let us receive the protection of Almighty God by way of His divine benediction. Now may the grace of God that keeps us close to you and the sweet love of Jesus the Christ that follows us and draws us back to you and the empowering power of the Holy Spirit that helps us to sense that you're close to us, O oh Lord. May it all rest upon you. May it all rest upon you henceforth and forevermore. And the blessed people of God said, Amen. 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 Give the Lord praise. Amen. And Sister First Lady, you are more than welcome, amen, to go into the uh, fellowship hall, amen, to make sure that those persons who have not participated in the secret Santa, amen, if you still want to put your name in the container, we are still taking names, and the container is in my office. If you have your name in the container, I'm pointing at you, yeah, you. If you have not pulled a name, go pull the name or pull your name out. Amen. Praise the Lord. You may go first, lady. Amen.